What's going on YouTube? Subone Saint here bringing you a video on the UL Crown Subone Tank. So, before I get down to the nitty and gritty, let's dive down close. Okay guys, here we are up close with the UL Crown Tank and all of its lovely packaging. Isn't it nice? Big old crack down the screen right here. Um, yeah, it was shipped to me like that, so um, yeah. Just beautiful, ain't it? Guess it's a good thing that they didn't mess the tank up in any way. Been a little upset then. But anyways, here you go. Here's the packaging. It tells me what kind of coils I have in there, all that good stuff. Let's take a look here. Open her up. And here she is. Dun, 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 dun. Beautiful, ain't it? Beautiful. Just you cannot go wrong with this stainless steel quartz glass just a beautiful beautiful tank yep got some Nerlin right here so you can top fill and bottom fill I would not recommend using this on a hybrid at all because it is not projecting very well um here's your wide board drip tip gotta admit it is pretty wide mine's a little wiggly um, I'll have to replace the O-rings on it or something to see if that'll help it out. But anyways, let's put that back in there. You do get two coil heads. Um, I can see, well, as you can see, there's one missing. Um, I have been vaping on this for quite some time, so I had to order more coils to put in here. They do have little silicone covers on the top of them, and, uh, all that good stuff I had to order 0.25 coils dual coils and it comes with an extra quartz glass I'll lift this bad boy up there we go Ooh, look at the goodies we got stashed in here okay well we have some extra o-rings instructions on how to top fill and yeah that about covers it so this will be my uh, up close right here with it um sorry i did not take the juice out of my tank um i i don't have a lot of juice laying around so yeah anyways i'll unscrew this top let you guys see just how much of a opening you have here to refill i mean you cannot complain with that at all you don't have to worry about juice getting on your fingers because you can fit all sorts of different bottles in there well that right there is my up close let's just go ahead back up and take a quick vape on it and talk about her okay and we're back let me switch out this drip tip real quick i just don't for some reason i just don't like it it's just it's wobbly you know it makes me feel like i'm like <laughs> yeah anyways yeah let me talk, go over my pros and my cons um there's not very many cons. I've really got to say there's really not. Um, I've had 80 VG, max VG in here, and I have not had a dry hit. Um, I love the little grip here, and as you're turning it, it clicks. You know, kind of clicks into place. And I mean, the airflow looks like it's really, really restricted, but it's not. It's it's got a nice it's got a nice vape to it. So when you're vaping on it, you're like, oh man that's a pretty good date flavor is phenomenal um you got food grade stainless steel in it um organic cotton uh let me take a look here and tell you guys that it comes with 2.5 ohm coil dual coil heads and you know they have little silicone things i'm sorry i didn't save them um anyways then it has a it has 1.25 ohm coil already installed in the tank um now keep in mind that the dual coils that are 0.5 ohms is recommended between 30 to 80 watts um the 0.25 ohm is recommended between 80 watts and 120 watts so then you have the single coils the 0.5 ohm single coil is the same as the 0.5 dual coil you can use it between 30 and 80 watts they do have a 1.2 ohm coil option which is recommended for 10 to 30 watts for you for you guys that like to vape at lower wattages um me i 
I vape anywhere between 50, 80, you know, I just, I like that nice warm, dense vape, and this, this tank actually does it for me, um, I have not had no problems with it whatsoever, um, there is only one con I have with it, and it's completely subjective, my opinion is just my opinion, I like those, uh, the Petri wideboard drip tips, or dot mods, yeah, sorry, dot mod, apologies, um, but I can't use the ones that I want to use, because on the top here, it's got a little lip where your drip tip kind of sits in, and, you know, if you have a friction fit drip tip or something, it's not gonna, it's not really gonna hold it all too well, and if it does, it kind of looks goofy, but anyways, I have it sitting right here on this Snow Wolf by Osmotis, sitting at 80 watts, 0.25 ohm coil, let's go ahead and take a pull. Ooh, man, that's a good vape. You guys have got to go pick one of these up. I will be more than glad to put a link in the description. Please leave a like, a sh comment on what you would like to see me do differently. Please subscribe, and you guys just keep on vaping out there, all right? Because it doesn't matter what we are all vaping on, whether we're vaping on an EpiPen or we're vaping on anything. As long as we're not putting all those chemicals in our bodies, we are good. So, you, know, you guys just keep on blowing clouds. I'm out.